Hello everyone, so today I'm back with another squishy tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute alpaca squishy inspired by the alpaca so plushies So yeah, I really hope you enjoy and let's get started Started. So first I started off by tracing the template onto the foam and you can make it as big or as small as you want and I'll try to link this image below in the description box so you can use it if you want to and also as you can see I did make the tail a little bit bigger and we're also going to be making the ears separately so that's why I didn't draw them on So next we want to start cutting this out. So here is what the shape looks like so far. And you just want to keep trimming it until it looks kind of the same on both sides. And next what you want to do is you want to draw four lines at the bottom of the squishy to mark where the legs are going to be and then you just want to cut in between the lines like so just really carefully also do the same for the other one but make sure that they line up with each other so basically like that so I'm just going to finish this then we can move on to the next step so once you've done that, next what you want to do is you want to start rounding off the legs and as you can see I've already finished rounding off three of the legs So what you want to do is you just want to round off the bottom part of the leg like so so you just want to cut off all of the corners until it looks something like this and then you just want to round it off into a circle shape and just make small cuts with your scissors and just smooth it off like so And then you just want to round off the rest of the leg by just making curved cuts. So 
so hopefully this is making sense. So basically like that. So I'm just going to finish this and I'll be right. So once you've done that, here is what it should look like. So next what we want to do is we want to start rounding off the head and the body so you just want to make curved cuts all the way around the body like so and then you just want to smooth it off really carefully by just making small like snips with your scissors So basically like that and then for the tail you just want to keep cutting off both sides until it is in the center of the body and then you just want to smooth that off like so until it looks something like this then you just want to continue just to round off the body until it is as smooth as possible so I'm just going to finish this so here it is once I finish smoothing off the body So now we can start smoothing off the head, so what you want to do is you just want to cut on both sides of the nose or the muzzle, I um, don't know if that's what it's called or not, but you just want to keep cutting it on both sides so that way it's in the middle of the head, I hope that makes sense and then you just want to round it off into an oval shape like so or if you find this too hard you can also make the nose separately and then just glue it on but I decided to just make it like this so it should look something like this and then you want to start rounding off the head by just making curved cuts like so and then you just want to round it off into a circle shape at the top and again just continue smoothing it off with your scissors
so I'm just going to finish this. So here it is once I've finished rounding off the head. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. So next what you want to do is you want to take some white felt or you can use whatever colour felt you want and you want to cut out two ear shapes like this and make sure that they're the same size obviously and then what you want to do is you just want to fold them in the middle like so. so like that and then you just want to glue it in place just using some strong glue and then you just want to glue them onto the head like this so I'm just going to do that so here is what it looks like once I've finished gluing on the ears. And also one thing I forgot to mention is I also cut two small indents on both sides of the head. So hopefully you can see that. So it just makes the face look a little bit more like chubbier. And next what you want to do is you want to draw two small circles on both sides of the nose or the muzzle and make sure that they're about the same size. And then once you've done that, we can finally start painting it. So next what I did was I started painting the squishy. And it is up to you what colour you want to do for yours. And you don't even have to use just one colour. You can use loads of different colours for yours. And... I just decided to paint mine a mint or a light teal colour so I just mixed some white and a little bit of green and blue together to get this like minty colour and then I painted the whole squishy but make sure not to paint over the face And I think the colour looks really good. So now moving on to the next step. So next what I did was I painted the eyes and the muscle using white puffy paint. And then I used some black puffy paint for the pupils or the eyes. And then I used some brown puffy paint for the mouth and the nose. And I just used a thin paint brush to paint on the nose and the mouth. And then lastly what I did was I used some dark pink puffy paint for the blush. And then I just blended it slightly using a brush. <laughs> And by the way, I use these images here as reference. And I'm really proud of how the face came out. I think it looks so cute. <laughs> so now we're going to let this dry and then we can move on to the next step. 
So now this last step is optional but I decided to add a bow to the alpaca so what I did was I just took some red ribbon or you can use whatever colour you want for yours and then I just cut off a piece and then I just made it into a bow so you can see or you could also use one that has already been made and then you just want to glue it in the center of the alpaca like so and you just want to use some more strong glue just to glue it onto the squishy and then once you've done that your squishy will be finished so here is what the final squishy looks like and as you can see I glued on the bow and I'm really really happy with how this turned out and I really like the colour of it, I think it looks really pretty and again you can do whatever colour you want for yours and I just love how the face came out So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you would like me to do in the comments below and thank you so much for watching, bye bye!